The new PNG Ports Board has people with high caliber with business, management and professional experience to drive the state-owned entity forward. They include Chairman Nathaniel Poya, Deputy Chairman Fabian Chow, Directors Patrick Amini, Harvey Nee, Luke Niap and Eddie Hessengut and Acting Managing Director Stanley Alphonse. Minister Duma said many of the board members were reappointed because of the need for consistency going forward, especially with all the infrastructure development that have taken place in the last three years. The government expects you to run Port Corporation as a commercial entity, given the fact that you're owned by the very people you serve, we also at the same time expect you to perform a very delicate balancing act and uh, that is to ensure you try your best to deliver a return on our investment but at the same time serve your shareholders. Chairman Poya thanked the outgoing directors and deputy chairman for their contribution to the former board. We have achieved some miles stone projects including motor care, port development, had a cost of 450 million. The Huyen Industrial Park development had a cost of 350 million. Acting Managing Director Stanley Alphonse said the reappointments speak well for the board and show confidence in the handling of the huge investments in port infrastructure in Port Mosby and Ley and other port networks. I will work with the new board uh, minister to further do uh, my best to, to uh, provide the leadership and guidance to our management but at the same time also work closely with the board to ensure that the corporate and strategic objectives of the company insofar as the delivery of government policies are concerned and as they relate to the maritime transportation sector are fully implemented to ensure that we get the level of efficiency that we, the nation so desires and ultimately cost competitive outcomes. Mr. Alphonse said one of the priority areas the new board will try to address is volume challenge. Delhi Waigeno, National MTV News.